That drew the ire of Bob Stoops on the sideline. He let everybody have it pretty much over there. Yeah, it's not good when you're I'm sure his thought coming out was let's go out and, and do good the second half the same way we did the first half. And then make the yep. like that. that could have been a block punt. Blake Ferguson will get set to punt it. Todd Miller waits on the other end. And high kick. Miller fair catch called for and he has to make a diving catch. The wind got that one a little bit and at about the 33 yard line is where Iowa State will take over. Dan McCartney and Bob Stoops good friends and at one time McCartney was on Hayden Fry's staff along with a lot of other great coaches. There's the old sly one. Bill Snyder head coach of Kansas State was on that staff. Kirk Ferentz at Iowa the head coach. Look at Barry. Yeah. Barry Alvarez nice hairdo bear head coach <laughs> of Wisconsin. There's Dan McCartney uh -huh. and now the head man at Iowa State. Chuck Long's the offensive coordinator here at Oklahoma. He was a player at that time. Mike Stoops co-defensive coordinator was a player a strong safety and they called him Bobby Stoops then two time all Big Ten performer. So Hayden Fry has a family tree in this game today. That's for sure. Seneca Wallace comes up throwing and it is intercepted. Yes, he got it at the 46 yard line. It's Everidge again. And it seems like every time Wallace throws, number seven's in the way. This was a heck of an interception to keep his foot in bounds. Everidge with his second interception of the day, as you mentioned. Watch this, watch his foot. Catches the ball, foot right there. Oh that's boy, that's pretty. Good call, good catch. And. Wallace has thrown three interceptions, a career high. Two today for Brandon, four on the season. And remember, he's got a sack. He had a forced fumble on the other interception that Strait had. I'd say he's had a pretty good game. Pretty good game. Quentin Griffin swing pass, and he's cut down as he crossed midfield to the 49. Now, wait a minute. Now, I want to get back to those pictures that you were showing. Those are good Hayden, pictures. Hayden Fry in the group. Hayden looked good there. It looked sort of like a little bit of a mobster. And we talked to the coach today. I did before the ball game. We wanted to have him on on the telecast with us. He was at Iowa last week for the dedication of the Cancer Research Center being named for him. He went to the Iowa Michigan State game. He yelled so much. I got him on the phone today and he said, Brian, how you doing? He's got laryngitis so bad he was going to come on with us. And we apologize, Coach. We hope you feel better. I think he feels fine other than his voice is shot. And he's uh, out in Nevada right now. They got a place out. He and his lovely wife, uh, I think it's near Mesquite, Nevada, if I'm not uh, mistaken at the yeah. name of it. And only, only Hayden would live someplace where it's called Mesquite because he's out of Texas and now he's in Nevada and a great coach, of course, at Iowa for a long, long time. And uh, many, many good players and good coaches have come from uh, he, we his just, tutelage. We showed him, yeah. And he said, two of my, two of my, two of my boys are here yep. in this game, McCartney and Stoops. He said, I don't know what I'd say about him anyway, Brad. He <laughs> said, you just say hi to Bob and Lenny for me. <laughs> and here comes Hibble. Got a first down run on an option keeper. Nice run, and all of a sudden, Hibble's going, you know what, I love it when they cheer. That sounds a lot better. And they've had reason to cheer today. Faked a, uh, faked a little pitch, just kept it, got, got up and get the first down. But one of the things we always remember about Hayden Fry, and I'll talk about it after this play. Trying to come wide. And Jones run out of bounds, loss of about a yard. We sat in Hayden's office talking offense, talking a lot of plays. And I said, sorry, right, Hayden, you, you, we've talked for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, tell us what you're going to do tomorrow. He says, well, Bob, he said, we're going to scratch where it itches. Scratch where it itches. That's all he ever told us, other than about 15 jokes over the course of an hour. We learned about 15 jokes and uh, scratch where it itches. Yep. That's, what, that's Hayden. That's how much we got. He wasn't going game plan with us, but we sure had a lot of fun in that office. Second down at 12. Loss of a couple by Griffin. Three wide out group. And that's Travis Wilson in motion. Hibble, here comes a blitz. Throwing it down the seam incomplete. Wilson was the intended receiver. And that's going to be third down and long. Coming up next Saturday, we've got a terrific doubleheader for you. Noon Eastern. Swanee and Bob and I will be down in Tallahassee. Florida State's got the weekend off. Notre Dame's got a big date with Air Force tonight. If they win that one, it's either way, it's a big game. Oh, a lot of you will see the Cyclones against number eight Texas, plus other regional action. Check the local listings for the game that you'll see. Third down and 12. 
Again, Iowa State looks like they're going to load it up and bring some pressure, and they will. And it worked. Oh, man. Helmets flying. Brandon Brown, the first one there. And that's Nate's head. Well, that's his helmet. His head's still on his shoulders. That's a good sign. Whoa, look at him. He just exhaled like, wow, that was a pretty good shot. Watch this hit. That's Brandon oh. Brown, the middle linebacker, coming. So you, so you want to play quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> Smith from the other side. Forget it. Nate's, we were talking to the coaches the other day, a tough guy. He bounces right back Miller up. Back here, without his headgear. And now Ferguson's punt. Miller's trying to clear everybody out of the way. And this will roll to a stop at about the 17-yard line. So before the Cyclones take over on offense, let's head to Times Square Stadium in New York. Here's John. Brad, USC is just taking this game against Washington and running away with it. Carson Palmer, plenty of time to set up. 11 yards to Mike Williams. That's his third touchdown reception of the day. And right now, USC blowing out Washington 31-7. Brad. Wow. All USC in that one. All Oklahoma in this one, 35-3. But the Cyclones have played much better this seven and a half minutes than they did the first two quarters. Oh, man. Jonathan Jackson said hello to Hiawatha Rutland. One, one other story on, on Hayden. <laughs> he just thought of another one well, during no, the timeout. You know, well, you know, we come here, and one of the one of the traits of, of Bob Stoops is he's got all these gimmick plays, all these right. tricks. Last week against Texas, he tried the old uh, end around, uh, the old uh, uh, kind of a fumble rooski, fumble -rooski right? right yeah. And he had the fake field goal against Missouri that they scored on. Well, Hayden was was famous for trick plays. No doubt about that. Second and twelve. Wallace flush. Here comes Evers. Had a hand on him, couldn't get him, but his teammates did. Shelby brings him down, no gain on the play. I tell you what, Seneca Wallace is going to be seeing sevens in his sleep, and it wasn't on the crap table. Holy mackerel. Brandon Everidge had a game today. Number seven right there, coming from the, uh, the lower side of the screen. I don't know how he got away from it. I don't either. Shows his elusiveness, but still. Everidge has been all over the place. Third down's been horrible. And, and they came in. Number leading, one. Leading the conference. At almost 49%. Today they're over. Quick throw. Incomplete. Too far in front of the intended receiver, Jack Whitmer. And it's time to give it up. I know the weather is not good, but you got to give some kind of credit to this defense yep. for shutting down a pretty good offense on third down situations. They, like you say, they're over. And now they've got a kick from their own goal line again. They're very close to it. Perkins waiting on the other end. Tony Yelks had one blocked, one tipped. And now he stands in his own one yard line. Good kick this time. Perkins has to go way back and it goes out of bounds before he can get to He's it. He's doing a great job of kicking away from Perkins. He sure is. That one goes out at the 38-yard line. We talked about Notre Dame next week against Florida State. Tonight they've got a date with Air Force on the road, a late start. You'll see that game on ESPN, but they've had some dandies in the series between the two teams. Let's pick up Keith Jackson. Whatever win there is, is at his back. Snap, hold, kick. Partially blocked. It is blocked. It is blocked. I don't know who got it. Sure, but somebody got a hand on it and it was blocked. Somebody got a hand on it. Oh, Jimmy, I go oh boy. Ahead. Air Force in Notre Dame tonight on ESPN. Keith won't be doing that one, by no, the way. No, Keith won't be doing that one. But that's a 10 o'clock Eastern start. Here's a pass incomplete. Remember, though, Fisher DeBerry might have the best team he's ever had, and they are actually considered a favorite at home in that ball game. How about, against how about Chance? Was it Harridge? Harridge, yep. The quarterback for Air Force. They keep saying, you know, he might be the best one ever to run their uh, wing bone offense, and I keep saying, boy, there's been Bo Morgan and all them other guys. Yeah. If this guy's better, yeah. then he's pretty darn good. Yeah, and uh, he is outstanding. He so. wants to be a fighter pilot. He says, I've never been in a jet yet. <laughs> he says, but I can't wait. <laughs> Well, he'll get his chance to get in some <laughs> yeah. fuel of the fire tonight. I he'll guess. get into some fire tonight. Yep. Second and ten. Griffin. 
battling for a couple yards. And how about the Irish? Notre Dame, how about the 112 offensively? Something like that. How are they winning games? They have got almost exactly half of their points this year, half of their total points have come from special teams and defense, and that is phenomenal. I think they've got 137 total points in the first six games of the season, and they've been winning and winning close and winning with defense and winning with special teams. Yeah. They're winning, uh, and then I see the the, uh, the, uh, the BCS poll. Some of the uh, computers on the BCS poll, the New York Times and all that, they've got them ranked one. They're ranked first in a couple and second in a couple other ones. I don't know about that. I don't either. I don't know that that good. Here's a throw out complete. And Travis Wilson, he's got a first down. Nice run after the catch. Travis Wilson, another one of the young Young wide coach. receivers, freshman out of Carrollton, Texas. He's going to get some opportunity to play next year when these guys graduate. Oh, he, he did nice. Nice job. That's tough. He knew where the first down marker was, and he got hit two or three times and didn't go down. He got nine on a third and eight, and he got a first down. So now Oklahoma with 445 remaining in the third, leading 35 to three. They can go back to the ground game. And they will. Jones got a couple. Brandon Brown and Anthony Forrest in on the stop. Bob Brown, I, I think as we watch the Oklahoma offense out here on the field in the second half, this is one of the toughest situations for a team to be in, to have this kind of lead and keep that focus. You're dominating a football team. Everything you seem to do is right. But the coaches want you to come out and focus so that you can dominate and just continue to play great football. It's just hard for the players to keep that attitude focused. It is. It's hard to do that. It's hard when you're ahead 35 to 3 to come out and play as hard. And it's hard when you're behind 35 to 3. Hibble had to pull it down. He was going to let it go. And at the very last second, apparently, whoever was his intended receiver was covered. And Karstens knocks him down. It's hard when you're behind because you know you're not going to win. The chances of coming behind, coming back on a good Oklahoma defense is, is not very good. So it's really hard to come out and, 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 and play uh, the way you would like to. Well, this is a, and this is a time when you have talented backups. You put them in the ball game because they're a little hungrier. They want their chance to come out and play hard and play well. Exactly. That's what I thought the situation was last night with Fresno State and Boise State. And then I realized <laughs> the starting quarterback's still in there with seven minutes left, and it's about 60 to 20. I think you had to know a little bit more about yeah, the series, Yeah, partner. I think I figured that out this morning. <laughs> Hibble deep, got his man, and Juan Savage down to the 25. First down, Oklahoma. 31 yards. Savage is one of those seniors that's going to be graduating. He came in, came in with 128 receptions and.